the download for a dependency check is on GitHub. If you go to the repository for a dependency check at this URL, and then you go and look for the code, you can download the code here, but there's also going to be releases that are available. So if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the releases and generally go to the one that's the latest. And then in here, there'll be a zip file. You can download that zip file. You can click on it or you can use wget to grab a copy. So once you have a copy of the file, you can go over to the opt directory and then we're going to unzip that file. So we go use the command unzip and then the file that we're trying to unzip is going to be wherever you downloaded the file by default that'll be in your downloads directory. If you take a look at the files that you have after that, there's going to be a new folder called dependency check. If you go in there, there will be a bin directory where the software is located. Then you'll see dependency check that shell, which is the script that we would use for Linux. There's also a dot bat that would be used in Windows. And if you want to create a shortcut to this, you just need to know the path that you're at. So if you do a print working directory, that'll tell you the path. And then the name of the script is dependency check that shell. So we can do a link dash s soft link, or in Windows, we call it a shortcut. And then we're going to copy that path and put dependency check dot shell. And then we're going to link that to user bin and dependency check dot shell. That way we can just type in dependency check dot shell and we don't have to type the full path every time. So now that we've done that, if we just go to the command line and type, we'll be able to run the program. And if you don't give it any parameters at all, it'll tell you that uh, what options that you have.